Guys, this is it. Full speed ahead. Watch your rip. Here we go. Oh, great. AJ, will you please have a look at the other side of the track, see if it's... Jason? In a minute, Dad. Zap. Got him. Oh, this is great. Jason's playing with video games. AJ's listening to rock music. Why am I doing this? You like it, Dad. Listen, you guys are the ones who are supposed to be playing with the trains. Do you hear me? Did you say something now? What I said was that this train's been in this family ever since I was a little boy, and it's tradition at Christmas time to play with it. <laughs> On Christmas, we did play with it. This is the day after Christmas. Anyways, we're too old for that stuff. So are you. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you something. Your mother said that the three of us should play with the trains, and the three of us are going to play with the trains, and I'm going to make them work. So you can watch it this time. <laughs> okay. You want to play with me? I played with you yesterday. <laughs> what I tell you? Listen, I want to tell you about something. This is going to be the last year I go to all the trouble of setting up these tracks. You didn't set them up. Jennings did. I want to tell you something. You may be my son, but you could possibly be in for the slaughter as well. Alan, will you forget it? We have other toys to play with. Great, big, expensive toys. Like Ashton's little oriental artifact. You know something? He hasn't mentioned that in over a week. Was it a roost, do you think? Or is his lordship so flush that he doesn't need our money? Go on, Captain. I hope you're going to tell me that the professor has a late Christmas present for me. Well, I'm afraid he came up empty-handed. As they all do. But he expects to get paid for his trouble, just the same. As they all do. Well, I think we've just about had it with these academic types. Uh, Perhaps it's time to play our trump card. Bring it over. Now? As fast as you can. I suppose you know what you're doing. But remember, once the Quartermains put their money into this thing, they'll expect to see results. You don't need to remind me, Captain. By the way, did you recruit Sean Donnelly? He must have uh, taken the bait. He uh, cancelled his honeymoon. It was the day after Christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even my bride. Bride, mm. bride, bride, bride. Sing it again, Sam. Oh, oh, Christmas is over, Mrs. D. <laughs> oh, say that again, Mr. D. <laughs> All right, you know, Christmas really is over, Mrs. Uh, Elsie Mae Crumb, or whatever it is, or... Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> yes, Christmas really is over. <laughs> oh, no, honey, Christmas hmm? will never be over. Never? Not with you. Oh. Not with you. That's great. So, how do you, uh... How do you feel? You just keep your eyes closed, though. Well, I've got a surprise for you. What? Another present? <laughs> yeah. It's a big one. Oh. Perfect idea. We almost didn't make it through our first Christmas. Mm -hmm. But after Rocky started, it worked out all right, didn't it? Yeah. It'd been a lot better if we could have done it in the honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. Here it comes. Okay, okay. Just, uh, just listen to this. I just have one little thing to say, okay? Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Why don't we spend an entire honeymoon here in Port Charles the next week, just you and me all alone together? I think I could handle that. You agree? Oh, yeah. And I'll see oh. you. Mm. 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 Great. Now, mm. what would you like for breakfast, sweetheart? You. Oh, you got me. Mm -hmm. How about a little toast? A little orange juice to go with it? Yeah, orange well, that yeah, sounds good. I'll be toast, back in a flash. Orange heart. juice. And okay, you. Okay. You sure? Absolutely. Don't be long. I won't be long. Could you answer that, please? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Lord Ashton. <laughs> Same to you. Was Santa Claus good to you? He was very good to me. You want to meet with me? Oh, sure. Today? Um, yeah, yeah, you just, uh, 
Name the time and the place. Here. No, 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 no problem. Yeah, goodbye. Every single one of them my name on it. <laughs> I was just looking at the rest of my presents. Who were you? Mm-hmm. What was your favorite? Uncle Duke, can I ask you a question? Oh, I suppose so. Can you make it quick? <laughs> Why was Mommy so sad over Christmas? Oh, you know, sister, yeah, she was pretty sad, wasn't she? Well, she tried not to be, but she didn't fool me. Well, I don't know, maybe we could do something to cheer her up. Do you have any suggestions? I think you guys should have another baby. Do, do you? I think we should as well. <laughs> well, we're just a little concerned about you, that's all. Well, you shouldn't be concerned about me. In fact, I think that is such a good suggestion. I have already made an appointment to see Dr. Collins today. To get another baby? Well, to see when we can get another baby. You won't be so sad anymore? No, I'm not sad, really. I'm already the happiest lady in the world. Bobby, love, you're exhausted. Go home and get some rest, will you? I'm okay. You have hardly left his side since the operation. Now go home. Monica, no. I want to be here when he wakes up. I'm sorry, Lucy, but I've told you all weekend you can't go in there. His doctors have ordered no visitors. But I am his wife, for God's sake. The orders sake. include family. Uh, it's for Tony's sake, don't you see? Uh, I'm sure you want to see him pull through this. I can't go in there and you let Bobby Meyer be in there with him. Bobby's a nurse. She was in surgery with him. Oh, yeah. If anything happens to him, it's her fault, Her then. fault? What do you mean? Because she forced him to have this operation that's nearly killed him. What are you doing? Are you giving her another chance Lucy, to Lucy, I won't allow thing? you to say such a thing. Well, fine. Don't I'm going No, I absolutely I'm forbid it. General Hospital, brought to you by Ralston Purina Company of Checkerboard Square. Look at him, what have you done to him? Lucy, will you take it easy? What is going on with me? He should have regained consciousness, right? You've done something wrong and you're not telling me. Let him be quiet. No. Don't you tell me what Look, to do. Tony could hear us. We'll Lucy, talk outside. Leave. No, we can talk right here. I want to hear right now what's going on. There is a possibility no. that he can understand everything we're saying. We don't want him to worry, so get out. How oh, um, dare you talk to me like that? That doesn't right. Come on. Get out. Right. 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 I want to stay in there with him. I deserve to be in there just as much as she does. I want to be Lucy. with him. Lucy, I'm telling you for the last time, you cannot be in there. Dr. Hardy, that is just a nurse in there. I am his wife, and I want to help her. She can't talk to me like that. She either. has every right to talk to you that way. She's a nurse, and it's her job to protect the patient. Steve is right. Lucy, look. There is a possibility that Tony could hear you. Now, if, if he does hear you, that could hurt him. You won't, don't want that, no, do you? No, don't you understand? I am just wanting to help him just as much Everybody as you are. Everybody in this hospital is doing everything they possibly can to help him, including Monica and Bobby. I am not blaming you, okay? I just want to know what the hell is going on with my husband. And Lucy, we know what a strain it is on you, and we promise we will tell you everything. Any change, anything that's happening, any information that we get. Meanwhile, why don't you go home and try to get some rest? No. No. I am going to stay right here until I know what's going on. I will be in the cafeteria if you want me. <sighs> Thank you. She's really getting to me. What's uh, with you and Lucy? <sighs> I don't know, probably because of the divorce. She's always been jealous of the fact that Tilly and I are friends. Okay, well, listen, I know that you two aren't the best of friends, but really, I have to kind of feel sorry for her, Bobby. After all, she is his wife. Well, Monica, if you're such a fan, then you handle her. Just keep her away from Tony and from me. Mommy? Yes? Can I go to the hospital with you? Uh, no, I, I don't think so, because she'll get bored. It might be a very long wait. I don't care. I can visit Dr. Jones. I think maybe you should just wait here this time, huh? Oh, please, can I go with you? You know, I think, uh, I actually heard a limb. 
discussing a little surprise for you. Something to do with this new movie this out this Christmas. You didn't tell me. Oh, dear. dear. I'd love the surprise. But anyway, <laughs> run into the kitchen right now and talk to her before she either changes her mind or unless I made a mistake. Quick, go on. Run. Mommy? Yeah? I can't wait till you guys make another baby. <laughs> She's very excited about it. I am too. Do you ever think it's maybe a bit it's too soon now? No. But you're the one that keeps saying we have to forget about everything that happened. What better way than to look forward to having a new baby? I mean, if it's too soon, Dr. Collins is going to tell me. We just have to wait a little while, that's all. I mean, I already have the most wonderful family in the world. As much as we want to uh, be alone here today, I, w I was thinking, we haven't seen Cheryl since the wedding. Uh, maybe you should give her a call, huh? Or uh, possibly even go over that. Honey, what's wrong? It's Cheryl. She's gone. What? I just received this in the mail. Wait, you mean she go to New York? Is she uh, on a trip? What? No. No. Well, did she go home to visit your folks? Or? Uh, I don't know where she went. Uh, listen. Dear Tiffany, I know this will come as a shock, but I've decided to leave Port Charles. I decided it was better to tell you after the wedding because I didn't want to do anything that might spoil the happiest day of your life. Oh, honey, come on, come on. She said she wanted it to have a perfect start for our perfect life. Well, that's very nice, but what about her? She says, I want to be as optimistic about my future as I am about yours and Sean's. I'm not sure where that future lies, but I have to go and make an effort to find it. Sweetheart, look, I mean, she said that uh, you shouldn't worry, right? I know, but she said she would write to me when she got settled. She said she'll miss me and she loves me. Honey, look, look, she said for you not to worry. I, I don't think you should. She's going to be fine. She's a very strong woman. I just want her to be happy. And she will be. You'll see. She'll be happy. She'll be happy. Sean, I almost feel guilty for feeling so happy myself. <laughs> I'm glad you said almost. I love you so much. Even though I'm far from perfect, huh? You are perfect. I don't know what in the world I would think about you. Honey, about uh, our plans for today, I, um, a telephone call. You're right, Sean. You're not perfect. You're far, far from being perfect. Oh, sweetheart, I, w I wouldn't do this, especially now, but... Don't explain. I don't even want to hear it. Look. be by myself anyway. I've got some things to think about. You go and do whatever you have to do, wherever you have to do it, and then let me know when you're finished. Maybe we can spend some time together.